Hello and welcome. Let's solve this question involving calculation of semi interquartile range of ungrouped data. The question reads The number of phones text messages sent by 11 different students is given below. So we have the numbers there from 14 all the way to 51. Calculate the semi interquartile range of these numbers. Let's go to the solution. Step number one for solving this question. Arrange these values in either ascending or descending order. Either from the largest to the smallest or from the smallest to the largest. Any will work. Let me arrange them from the smallest to the largest. So you can see the smallest is uh, 14. Followed by 25, uh, followed by 31, then we have 36, then we have 37, from there we have 41, and then we have 51, uh, 52 is next, 55, and then we have 79. And the last one is 112. We have arranged the values from the smallest to the largest. Step number two. To calculate the semi interquartile range of this set of data, we use this formula. So semi interquartile range is given by Q3 minus Q1 divided by 2. What is Q1? What is Q3? And I'm going to introduce another one that is not here. Q2. Q2. So Q2 is the median. The median value. Q1 is the lower quartile. Then Q3 is the upper quartile now how do we identify q3 and q1 we're going to begin by identifying q2 is the median so given this set of data what is the median the median is the middle value and remember for you to get the median you must arrange this set of data from either in ascending or descending order. So the value that is exactly at the middle is, um, we look at this data, is 41. Because to the left of 41, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 values. To the right of 41, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 41 is the median and that is what we refer as Q2. Now you can see, now we have two halves 41 the values to the right of 41 that is one half and that half we call this half this is the this one is the upper half then here uh, we have these values to the left of 41 this is the lower half Q1, Q1 will be obtained by getting the median of the lower half. The median of the lower half. So look at the lower half. How many values are there? There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That is 14, 25, 31, 36, and 37. So to get Q1, Q1 will be obtained by getting the median of the lower half. So which is the median? It is obvious. It is here. That is the median. So this is where we have Q1. So Q1 is here. The median of this lower half. Q3. Q3. So let me first write this. So Q1 is 31. Q3 will be the median of the upper half. So the median of the upper half. The upper half is here. And you can identify the median very well. It is here the median of that half is 55. 
so that is uh, 55 now we have q1 and q3 so we can now get the semi interquartile range remember the semi interquartile range is given by the average of q3 minus q1 so therefore semi interquartile range is given by q3 which is uh, 55 subtract q1 which is 31 then you divide by 2 and this will give 24 divided by 2 so you get 12 so that is how you get the semi interquartile range of ungrouped data